Yo, what up? It's Test Dummy, motherfucking 22. And, um, I'm on a little video rampage today. I made one already, response to Blue, my homie boy Blue. 91982, if you don't know who the fuck I'm talking about, you need to know. Go subscribe to his ass. Um, boy Blue, 91982. Put that shit up in there. Maybe I'll put a link. I don't fucking know. Um, right now, I'm not gonna say nothing, because I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Um... Then I made a little response to my homie, um, Mindframe. Now, um, going off of Mindframe's video that I made, um, and a comment that I seen earlier, and just stuff that I talked with uh, two other family members. When I say family members, I mean juggalo motherfucking homies. Um, shit that I talked to with some of my homies about the tingle that you feel, <clears throat> you know, um, I think one of the main things that you can, if you're, if you're asking yourself, are you a juggalo, is this right for you, is this something that, is this where you belong, is this what you're supposed to be doing, is this the music you're supposed to be listening to, is this the world you're supposed to be involved in? You know, are you as down as you think you are? Whatever. All these questions that a lot of you young young bugs out there want to know the answer to. Well, I'm going to give you a simple test. And, you know, this is as real as it gets because they're, it's, a, it's something that I don't even know how they do it. I don't know what it is. I don't know why every single one of us has felt this way. It's kind of like, like I said before, it's like a conspiracy. It's like, it's like seeing a UFO or some shit. It's like, uh, it's like having a, a, an encounter with an alien. I mean, it's, it's something so weird. It's like a, a coincidence of, of crazy astronomical proportion. I mean, it's like such a coincidence that most jugglers that I talk to who are like, who I know are down as fuck because I can just tell. It's something about someone that I just know that even if they don't know every lyric or even if they don't know every song or whatever it may be I can just look at someone and and I've done it before no hatchet man no 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 tattoo no nothing I just see a person and I know bang that's a juggalo you know what I mean go over to him what up homie what up fam and that's the way it works now another thing that we have is the connection of the spine tingle of the chills, of the goosebumps, okay, something that doesn't happen to every single one of you, because, and I'm, I'm kind of convinced that if it doesn't happen to you, you may not be a juggalo, now, I'm not gonna go and spout that kind of crazy fucking shit off, because I'm really not sure, maybe it just means that some people feel it more than others, or some people were just chosen to feel that certain way about it, it seems as if the music chooses you, um, so, yeah, but I know when I heard Diane Balin for the first time, I was sitting in my living room at my old apartment, and I had some nice subs in my in my room, and I had put it in the C player, and I listened to the Wraith, that CD, the Shangri-La, the Wraith, like a million times. But I never listened to that number 17. Don't ask me why I never listened to the last song. I just never listened to Diane Balin. I never got around to it. I just I listened to the whole CD like fucking boatloads of times. And I didn't even know that song existed. For some reason, I just didn't know it existed. I didn't look at the track list. I don't know. It was just sitting around for so long. I loved the CD like a million times over. I loved, you know, I listened to it a lot. It was like one of my favorite fucking CDs. And I never knew that song existed. Like it just didn't exist. One day, you know, I'm, I'm kind of not getting sick of listening to the CD, but I'm like, is there anything on here that I didn't listen to yet? And I'm searching through, I get to the last track, I'm like, you know what, I think I had this on a couple times, but I skipped it, because it, in the beginning it's slow, and it seems like it's just an outro, you know what I mean, and this is when, I mean, everybody knows this by now, this was back in the day, when that CD was out, you know what I mean, but, um, so I'm listening to it, and I let it go this time, and I'm just sitting there, and you hear the bells, ding, and then they start naming the cards, Jay and Shaggy start talking, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking Jekyll Brothers, you know, the last song on Jekyll Brothers is a lot like that too, um, you know, but this is even more amazing than that, and, you know, the words start kicking in, 
and it's it was like it was like all this time you knew but they were finally telling you it's like you already knew this that's what made it so beautiful it was almost like holy shit you know they never said any of this out loud you know what I mean never ever ever did they say any of this you know out loud straight up what you know right there like yo this is what we are this is what it's about and then they did and when they did it's like I knew already it's like what they were saying was exactly what I was feeling the entire time I've ever listened to them it's something I've already knew but I never heard the song it was like I can't even explain it I mean literally it was fucking insane I mean and it it gave me the, like this chill and it just made me feel like I can't even explain it it made me feel like superhuman like I'm from some other planet that like you know like there was like some purpose there's like some big purpose behind this there has to be it's too much of a coincidence that this whole time I knew what they're telling me now all this time and I already knew this shit and it's like I knew and it's just it overwhelmed me I couldn't believe it I mean it was like goosebumps spine tingle this amazing high that I've never felt off of any drug I've done and I've done them all something that I just never felt you know what I mean it was fucking amazing and I'm just sitting there in my living room in awe and I couldn't believe it I just could not fucking believe it and to me that's the spine tingle that's when you know that's when that's when I realized this is where the fuck I belong you know what I mean no matter what we all live and by God, we all fucking die. You know what I mean? Today, tomorrow, a week, a year, two months. Is it a bad thing? Hell fucking no. It's the cycle of life. You know what I mean? Get used to it. I'm just saying, y'all. It's a feeling, man. I'm not a fanboy. I don't ride no nuts. Man, this is, this is a fucking calling, people. This is something that was brought to you. You know, I've always had, like, this little vision. Like, and, and another thing that comes along with the Juggalo experience is the dreams. Um, everybody I've ever talked to has had this. Not everybody. Some people I've talked to, most Juggalos that I actually sit down and have really good conversations with, admit the spine tingle to me usually during the wraith so it's a coincidence that we all have that during the wraith i'm unveiling you know so it's a real coincidence that a lot of us had the same experience there and then also a lot of us had the same experience and a dream where carnival's coming down the street mine was like i was sleeping i woke up there was you know my friend was like shaking me to get up come on we gotta go we gotta go and i look outside and it's like juggalos just walking down. I mean, like, literally billions of them everywhere just flooding to one, just going somewhere. And I've got to go, too. You know what I mean? I'm like, I got to go. We got to go. You know what I mean? That, a lot of motherfuckers have admitted to me that that dream, maybe not the exact same dream, but a very similar dreams that we've all had that. Is that a coincidence? Is it a coincidence that... We've all had these dreams, that we've all felt this spine tingle, you know, or is it just something that, and and I, this stuff happened to me before any juggalo told me about the spine tingle, or anybody, any juggalo told me about the fucking dream, you know what I mean, these are things I didn't never knew about, they happened to me, and then I, t I shared those experiences with other people, and those people said, yes, that happened to me too, it's not like I knew about it beforehand, this stuff just happened, I mean, is that a coincidence? And if it is a coincidence, then, whoa, isn't that a pretty big fucking coincidence? You know, I've always thought, y'all, that we might be chosen. We might be like that small portion of this planet that might have been chosen for some fucking, some fucking reason. Maybe, you know, the carnival came to Jay, 
in such a way where they knew he was going to do this and make this music and he knew he was going to attract people who weren't necessarily the best people on this planet. But are we like possibly the most honest people on this planet? Think about it. Are we not the most honest motherfuckers and the most loving at heart? We care about people. We, you know, our li some of the lyrics and the music and stuff may be vulgar and stuff like that, man. But at heart, I think, I believe that each and every one of us juggalos, man, give a fuck about people. Deep down inside, we all really care. You know, I've met Christian people and religious people who, who claim to be, like, so spiritual and loving and caring, dude. And they sit there and tell little little children that cats and dogs don't have souls and they're not going to heaven. They do things that are so sick and disgusting. You know, it shows me that just because you put on a front, the front of you has nothing to do with what's inside of you. Because I wear face paint or because I wear a hatchet on my arm or because I listen to a type, certain type of music does not make me who I am. Who I am makes me who I am, and that's the thing. You know, these, you know, some of these. I'm gonna say Christian religious people. They put a cross on the outside. They're this good-hearted, wonderful people. But on the inside, are they really that? I'm not saying all of them. I'm not gonna sit here and say that there's no good religious people. I'm pretty sure there's a ton of them. I don't think there's anyone out, any group of people out there doesn't have good people and bad people. You know, I think that that. A lot of people, in general, are good and bad. I don't think any person's pure good or pure evil. I think everyone has a little bit of both. Everyone can be tempted to do certain things. We're all human. We all sin. We all... You know what I mean? This is just something, man. I know I, I really didn't word any of this correctly. Um, there's probably a lot more that I'd like to say. Um, but I'm just going to leave it at that, man. Just let your mind flow. If any of this has ever happened to you, you know, get, share some experiences with me. Give me some comments and responses to what I'm talking about. I want to know, you know, did you have some dreams? Have you had the spine tingle? You know, how do you feel about, you know, what, what do you think us as a juggalo? You know, nothing, everything happens for a reason. You know what I mean? There's a reason why we're here. There's a reason why this group of juggalos or whatever we are was formed on this planet. We're humongous, y'all. I mean, we're big. We're fucking humongous. If we all gathered in one spot, dude, no one could defeat us. You know what I mean? We are a humongous group of people who was formed from a crazy, insane rap group. You know what I mean? And a lot of people look at it as exactly that. But the ones on the inside, you know, us, we know that there's way more to it than that. And it's hard to explain to somebody else because a lot of people don't understand. You know, because if you haven't been touched by it yourself, you just don't, you won't know. It takes that to just know what's up. I don't know. Thoughts, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, much motherfucking wicked clown love. Check out my new channel, Brainchild22. Uh, <laughs> Brainchild20. Brainchild200. Um, put the link right, right there. Um... I love y'all. Much fucking wicked clown love. I will never, and I repeat, never stop doing these juggalo videos. I just want y'all to know that. I know this channel right here, I'm gonna kinda get away from the juggalo shit, but I will always be here on this channel doing my shit, doing my juggalo shit, man. Y'all are everything to me, you know what I mean? And I want all y'all over here at this channel and checking out my new shit. Um, definitely gonna rep the hatchet over there. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. I ain't leaving the hatchet and, and gonna like, you know, become some fucking, you know, Ray William douchebag, I'm gonna, you know, just do something a little different, because I'm trying to reach a broader amount of people, um, like a lot of motherfuckers, I'm trying to reach everybody, so, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to do that, but, um, you know, stay with me, y'all, test on me, motherfucking 22, and, uh, Rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my boy Blue, like I said before. Check out the video I made a uh, response to him earlier. Um, leave him a response. He could use a little, you know, little encouragement right now. So I'm um, going ahead and do that. And uh, like I said, Brainchild 200. Check it out. Whoop whoop. Much fucking clown love. <laughs>